Okay, so in this video, we are going to continue from where we have left off. We are able to you know, register for an event, which is making an Ajax call, and I can also deregister. Now, I would want that this Ajax call raises an event and then it sends out an email. Okay, so why don't we get started uh, with an event? Okay, so this is my uh, let me quickly give a thing. So, this is my API controller and handle registration. Either it does a register for event or deregister for event, which means I suppose this is the perfect place to emit an event which will send out the email. Okay, so let's just um, in here have two events. Uh, so I'll have an events directory and inside that I'll have let's say uh, event register okay this is with the namespace of events slash events okay and my class name is this and why don't we just add a constructor we pass we have the event no we don't have the event right we have the user and we would need that user right so we we'll need the user and we will need that event data do we have the same thing here event and user all right so what we are going to do is we are going to take event dollar event and we are also going to take user okay fine and if we talk let's just say we'll log just to show you how things work i'll go right from the basics so i have this new class and so this is event registered register for an event right so in here we will emit new event registered i will have to send the event so dollar event right and auth user okay and just so that we know that this is getting fired we have added a log okay and what else okay so let's go with this what i'll do is come over here so i'm not registered here so i'll click on this and i get a 201 now let's see now the logs let me clear this and once more i have to deregister and then register and we have this all right so which means this class is getting called because i'm inside the constructor and you know this was executed but that's not what we want right we have an event we are firing it but how do we listen to it so we'll add a listener so we have modules uh, slash event um <laughs> this is going to be tricky event events listeners okay yeah. there are too many events on this because our main module is event so can't help it um event slash listeners my class is going to be event listeners so this is my this is going to be my event listeners class okay in this um, what we need to do is i should have a method which is subscribe okay so let's just add that and 
subscribe sub is crib okay crib that's fine and i'll get an events variable here that's what i know this for um okay so now what i'll do is i'll create a variable which is this i'll tell you why okay uh, so this is my variable what i'll have to do is for i'll need to register every event in this listener so what i'll say is that dollar events listen whenever event uh, this is my event right so whenever event registered is called what you need to do is oops um, so I'm um, what I'm saying is you know this is like this class at the rate this method so whenever this event is called execute this function okay what i'm gonna get in this function is exactly what is provided in the constructor so basically the event and the user uh no sorry i'll get the event registered event registered uh object okay um so why don't we do one thing uh these are private we'll make them uh, can i add getter setters or why don't we make them public that will be the easy thing to do okay so these are public functions and then what i will do is i'll just log out saying that um user name is going to be dollar this user name right uh, so uh, say user name has registered for event okay and dollar event name is going to be dollar event registered event let's quickly check create event table we have title okay so we'll do event id okay so previously we had done a log inside the constructor so we knew that you know it is coming here but no one was listening to it but now we have a listener class which says that whenever this event is fired call this function but even then we need to tell laravel that this is a listener class right so what we are going to do is inside providers there is event service provider okay we have listen we have boot there is another uh, variable which is dollar subscribe okay uh, it's here yes so subscribe classes to register so i'll just populate that um, with <coughs> what is the name of our class event events registered event events listeners sorry not registers okay so we have told that we need to subscribe to this listener class and now we are good to go so let me clear up log come over here what do we have we have the register so i have the registered and then i will register i get a 201 and we say amitav roy has registered for event number nine so our event is getting fired and in the listener we are able to do uh, this log so which means we can then send an email and that's something which we are going to do in our next video thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel